Welcome back to my channel for another Leica episode and this video is about the Noctilux M widest open f 1.25 75mm and my teleportrait lens so far always was this one here. This is the Sumilux M 1.5 widest open aperture 90mm both are aspherical lenses and I love shooting with that lens here on my Leica M11, the Leica M10R, the Leica M10 Mono and all kinds of other cameras. And actually with suitable adapters, these lenses can be shot on almost any camera in the world. But now I finally got my hands on the Noctilux M 75 millimeter. And that is supposed to be one of the best portrait lenses in the telefocal length area you can get on planet Earth. So let's unbox it quickly. Let's mount it on my Leica M11, which I have already parked here. Then let's go into the studio and let's take some portraits and let's see what this lens is capable of. Let's get started. I have shot Noctilux M lenses a lot in the past, but typically with 50 millimeter. And you find lots of videos on my channel where I actually look into the image quality coming from Noctilux M lenses with 50 millimeter. I've never shot the 75 millimeter Noctilux M and I believe this might be a completely different experience. So I'm really looking forward to unbox this beauty here, getting it set up on my Leica M11. And then since we have a fashion shooting today in a studio in Zurich, I will also take with me my Leica M11 and the Noctilux M 75 millimeter mounted on the camera in addition to the Nikon C9 which has to get the job done today. And then we'll also in between and in breaks try to take some nice portraits. So let's get started with unboxing and let's see what's all in this box here because it's a huge box if you look at it. There must be a lot of interesting things in that box which I'm really curious to unpack now. All right, I've changed perspective here on the camera so you can look from the top what's in that box here. Let's open this carefully because this is a very expensive lens and a very precious box, of course. So first of all, we have here some paperwork. In contrast to many other Leica lens packages, this time it comes in a plastic bag and I don't think we should pay too much attention to that here. Let's further unbox it. Let's get the protection material out of the box. Nothing in it. This is just for protection of the content of the package. And here we go. And uh, this really is a very, very nice packaging if you look at that. So we also have here additional accessories. Clearly that's the box which carries the lens. So let's open this and let's see what we find inside. Let me take the box out carefully, of course. Okay, let's get it in this way. And uh, here we have a strap, which we can open carefully. Whoa, let me get this right here. What a beauty. This is a beautiful lens. Actually, before I take this out of the box, let's get the protector opened here because that is my first reaction when I purchase one of these very expensive lenses. I always make sure I have a UV filter on top of it which protects the glass and uh, clearly that's also easier if you need to clean this up later on. So let's get this out here. Let's see what we have. Nice. And here we can open this and then we are ready to mount this on the lens. So let's take the lens out. Let's have a first look here. Beautiful. Look at these engravings in white and in amber. And uh, in the same way as on the Sumi looks I showed before in the intro of the video, you have a tripod mount here because that lens is very heavy and I'm going to provide the specifications in the course of the video, of course. Let's open it. Let's have a first look at the glass. Beautiful, you see the engraving. Noctilux M, widest open 1.25, 75mm. Here is the aperture. I can open this up all the way to 1.25 or stop it down. Beautiful build quality, very nice in hand. I like a lot what I'm seeing here. Let's quickly mount the protector so that this glass is protect it in the way I want to have it. So let's open this up here. Let's put this aside for a second. Let's get that protector out here. And let's screw it onto the lens carefully, of course. A lot of screwing. Not overly firm, but firm enough. Quite nice. That's it. That's my new Noctilux 75mm and still 
the lens cap is fitting here, so it looks quite nice. There will be no extra lens hood in the box. I'm sure about that because what I saw when I had it first in my hand is there is this lens hood in an integrated way like we have it on some other Leica M lenses. And you see here the mechanism, how this is coming out and then staying here. And if I don't need it any longer, I just place it back. So quite nice, that mechanism has high quality, works very well and clearly is an integrated lens hood we have incorporated in that Noctilux M lens. What else do we have in the box? Let's have a look here. So here is another lens cap and uh, that very likely is the usual Leica plastic lens cap which you can use as an alternative to the metal construction we saw before. So let's have a look, let's put this in here. And uh, if we open this up here, we have this full metal lens cap, which looks really good, is really valuable. I will not use this for daily shootings. I typically go with this one here. And that's just plastic. It's the typical Leica lens cap. So I can just clip this on the lens and then the lens is protected, quite nice. And still the lens hood would come out here. So there is nothing in the way for the mechanism which is built into that lens. Another accessory in the box is this one here. So here, first of all, we see a leather pouch. Let's open this up. And then we get a tripod mount, which fits the lens in the way I showed before. So I said, like the Sumilux, we have here a tripod mount. You can mount this on here. And then the lens is not directly on the tripod, but via that accessory here. And that is quite nice and it's all included in the box. The last accessory in the box is the usual leather pouch here for storing the lens if you are on travel. And that's the typical lens pouch you have in Leica M lens packagings. If you purchase them, you get this leather pouch with an engraving saying Leica, quite nice, and you can use it for travel to keep your lens protected. I'm going to mount my new Noctilux 75 mm to my Leica M11 in a moment. But before, let's quickly share some specs. So I spoke already about build quality. This is all a full metal construction. Very, very well built. And of course, in the usual Leica quality here. I also showed already the lens hood here, which you can screw out. So that's all fine. We have a widest open aperture of f1.25 and we can stop this lens down all the way to f16 for a wide depth of field. So that's all the usual stuff we all know. We have here in the optical construction nine elements in six groups. We have a focusing range from 85 centimeters, so 0.85 meter up to infinity. So for a 75 millimeter lens, you actually get quite close to your subject. It has a highest reproduction ratio of one divided by 8.8. .8, so you can actually do something in a close up range if you want, but it's not an ideal lens for that. It is a very heavy lens. So we talk about 1055 grams here and that's what I mentioned before and that's why you also have that tripod mount here built in with that additional accessory I showed in the box before and we have a filter thread of 67 millimeter and that's basically all I wanted to say. Now let's mount this lens to my Leica M11 and let's see how this looks like. So here I have my Leica M11. Let's open this up here. Let's get this one here open too. Here we go. Then let's find the alignment point here. So here we go. It really is a heavy lens, I can tell you. And then it clicks in very softly, very nicely. And this is a beautiful combination of a lens on a rangefinder camera body, I think. The color matches perfectly. It's really good in hand because I have my usual hand grip mounted here. I like a lot the way this camera is in my hands and I will enjoy shooting with it. So let's go now to the studio in Zurich where we have that fashion shooting. I need to get a job done, but in between I'll use that camera lens combo for portraits.
As an aperture, I always went wide open between f1.25 and f2.8. I didn't stop further down. Let's have a look at the sample images and then I want to comment on a few of them in Lightroom and then let's conclude the video. In all the images I'm going to show, please ignore in the metadata in the upper left hand side corner the aperture because that's not correct in metadata on Leica rangefinder camera. So here's the first shot I wanted to show and that was shot widest open at f1.25 and if I crop in to 100% this is pinpoint sharp. So this lens is really what I'm saying in the title of the video, brilliant when it comes to sharpness but at the same time super dreamy if you look at the background blurriness here. Here another image I wanted to show, very sharp where the focus was sitting, but then in the background very quickly blurriness kicking in and in this way providing a three-dimensional appearance in the image quite nice, I like a lot what I see here. Here another as I think very dreamy image, super sharp where the focus was sitting, this image was taken again widest open f1.25, you also see here based on light reflections, some color errors or aberrations kicking in. They can be corrected in Lightroom and that's something we see very often on Leica lenses in particular, if they can be shut as wide open as the Noctilux 75mm. Here is a sneaker from Valentino and if I crop in here by 200%, you see so much detail and structure here. This is absolutely amazing and clearly that Noctilux 75mm is super sharp and you get absolutely stunning results here. Here another portrait and this is sitting somewhere between a headshot and a half body shot and if I crop in here by 100% this is another testimony how sharp this lens is. And actually if you own the Leica M11 or the Leica M10R or maybe the Leica M10 Mono, the 75mm Noctilux is really something to consider to be in your lens portfolio because you can use this so nicely for people photography in all kinds of shooting situations and even wide and widest open it will always be sharp if the focus is sitting correctly. This is kind of the last image I wanted to quickly discuss. Again, shut widest open at f1.25. Brilliant sharpness and nice color representation here. And if you have aberrations or color errors in the images, they can be easily corrected in post. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there is always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, peace out.